This is the Metchem skid mounted pre-coat station. This is a small holding tank. It's about one and a half times the size or volume of the filter press that you're going to pre-coat. That's the minimum size requirement. This is an air driven mixer. We're going to fill this up with water. We're going to add filter aid and then turn the mixer on and mix the slurry. You control the mixer by turning on this valve. The course adjustment is done with this regulator. Fine tuning of the speed is done with this little needle valve on the mixer itself. Once the slurry is mixed, you shut the air off, then you can turn the pump on, and again you could regulate the speed of the pump with this air regulator to operate the diaphragm pump to feed the solution into the filter press. And we'll talk about the filter press valving that's special for pre-coat as well. This is the Metchem pre-coat manifold for our filter press. This one happens to be in 304 stainless steel, but the concepts are the same whether it's PVC or CPVC. It's got the standard center feed pipe inlet, but when we want to do a pre-coat, we want to coat the cloths evenly with the filter aid. So to ensure that the liquid inside the chambers of the filter press are getting to the top, we want to close the outlet valves on the bottom forcing the liquid to come up to the top of the filter press and then out. That way we know that the liquid has filled the chamber before going through the filter, depositing the filter aid on the cloth. You would run this back to the pre-coat station feed tank until that tank appears to be clear. The pump feeds the filter press through whichever valve you choose. Uh, you have to valve this into the center feed pipe and then the return line will come Probably uh, the upper valve will allow the clean or filtered water to go back to that tank. You keep recirculating back to that tank until that water looks clear, indicating that we've removed all the filter aid and deposited it on the filter cloths. Once that's been done, you stop the pump, you close this valve, that's the return to that filter aid tank, and then you also close the valve that's feeding the center feed pipe from that pump. And then you uh, open all of the corner valves and then begin filtering with the solution you wish to filter and have the pre-coat stay in the cloth. There's some water left in the filter press, but that's help holding the pre-coat on the cloths. And then that water just cycles through the regular process. And the sludge then begins to deposit on top of the pre-coat. 